Hello everybody and welcome into our second episode of a new remote edition of Cronkite Sports Now. I'm Carly Mathias, thanks for joining us. One thing that has remained certain in this time of uncertainty is that the NFL free agency will still go on, and the Arizona Cardinals are getting in on the action. The Cards have reportedly signed Arizona native and former Desert Vista High School standout outside linebacker Devin Kennard. It was March 17th when Kennard took to Twitter, sending his heartfelt farewell to fans and members of the Detroit Lions organization. Less than 24 hours later, his daughter took to Twitter, sharing the news that Kennard had made his way back to Arizona, and she clearly approves. In addition, the Cardinals have also signed former Falcons linebacker Devondre Campbell to one-year $8.5 million contract. Now to the hardwood. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver shared his thoughts in a recent interview with Rachel Nichols about when he thinks NBA play will resume. Silver said, We're going to try every means we can to play basketball again. I would say the safety of our players and fans are first, which is why I don't want to speculate more than that. That will be the condition upon which we can play when public health officials give us the okay. Today was the day that the NCAA tournament was supposed to begin. So although there might not be basketball currently being played, March 19th is an historic day in history for those who love the game. In 1966, the Texas Western Miners college basketball team defeated Kentucky in the national championship. What was special about this team is that they became the first all-black starting lineup to win a national championship. During a time where really no sports are being played, it's important to take a look back on the historic events that got our leagues to where they are today. Starting Monday, we will begin a new chapter here at Cronkite Sports called AZ Sports Rewind. Our reporters will be taking a look back on the top events on the exact date that they took place. That's a wrap for today's remote edition of Cronkite Sports Now. For Arizona sports stories from around the valley, visit the Cronkite Sports tab on arizonasports.com. And as always, for the top Arizona news stories, head over to our website at cronkitenews.azpbs.org. Have a great rest of your day, be safe. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.